Welcome. In this video, I'm taking a look at this wireless shutter remote. And if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to this on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'll be attaching this to a Nikon D3100. If you look at the link in the description, it lists off all the other Nikon cameras this is compatible with. I also want to say that I'm not an expert on camera gear. This is my first experience with this. So that's the perspective you're seeing here. So if we look at the front of this, it says wireless remote, wired switch, 30 meter range, wireless bulb, instant shutter, delay shutter, three continuous shots, and unlimited continuous shots. On the back, it says it has 16 channels. It also says the transmitter can fire multiple receivers. So if you had eight cameras and eight of these, you could have one remote that would do all at the same time. So if you had these lined up in like an arc and someone stood in the middle, they could jump up in the air and you could take a picture at the same time and then you could like rotate the person in midair. You could do some cool tricks with that but you would have to have a lot of cameras and a lot of remotes. And this says it replaces the Nikon MCDC2. And from what I understand, that's a one meter long wired remote. So the reasons you might want these is to do a self portrait or in general photography, having a remote shutter, you don't have to touch the camera and wiggle the camera to take the picture. So I'm gonna get everything out of the box and we'll look at it. Okay, so this is the receiver and it has a little shoe mount on it. This is the remote and these are the cables. It came with a set of instructions. And from what I understand, this runs on the 433 megahertz range, which is similar to like a garage door opener. So there's a large instruction sheet and it's in, looks like three different languages. I think it's in probably Chinese, English, and maybe German. So I'll get this stuff unwrapped. Okay, so here's the remote. We have a status LED, the shutter button, and this is where you select the modes. It has an antenna that we can pull out here. That's all the fur that it pulls out. And then on the back, this is how you switch your frequency. And this is where the battery goes in, right here. Looks like the sticker is supposed to actually be stuck in there. It came with two batteries and these take a 12 volt 23A battery. So this is the receiver, it has two status lights. This is a shutter button, so you could use this as a regular remote shutter. You could tether it and just hold it off to the side and press the button, that's what it seems to be. If we switch it over, we can see the frequency selection here. And then this is where the battery goes. And this takes a CR2. So these batteries can probably be pretty expensive if you were to go to like a convenience store and buy them. So if you use this a lot, it might not be a bad idea to order some of these online where you can get them cheaper and then just have them on hand. Okay. There's also an on off switch here. So when I turn it on, this is flashing. So this little mini connector here will plug into the side, like so. Now we'll get to the camera. So I wasn't sure what connector this will go into, but it looks like it's going to go into the GPS port here. It's the only one this looks like it'll fit. Yeah, that seems to work. Then I'll slide out the little cover and the shoe. Now put this on. So this can also go on a tripod, has a tripod mount. That's actually a pretty stiff fit right there. You wouldn't really have to tighten it down very much. I think I mentioned it said have the camera off when you put that on. And also I need to double check this frequency is the same. I haven't got far enough along in the instructions, but I'm guessing you can just make these two match and then this will recognize the remote. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on with the side switch. And then I'll turn the camera on. I'm going to turn my light off right now. I still have some glare, but Okay, so I have this on, I have the camera on, it's on the preview mode. It's about to shut off the preview mode here. There we go. So on this it says, slide it to the bottom for single shot, and then hold it down part way to autofocus, then do a full press to take a picture. Okay, there we go. We got our picture. So that's the single shot mode. Next is the unlimited continuous shot mode. It says shift the mode switch to the single shot while select the camera to continuous shot mode. So I think this camera does that. Let's see. So I'm going to switch it to this one right here. Okay, so for continuous mode, I hold this down part way to focus. Then I press it all the way down until the light shuts off. Now it's doing continuous. I press it again to stop. And then for bulb mode, I don't know how to do bulb mode on here. Okay, so I'm recording this part the next day. I didn't really have a grasp on how the bulb mode worked, but I've done some research and I think I can explain it better now. So on the camera, 
You want to set the dial here to M for manual. I'll turn the camera on. And then we have this little dial wheel. And this is on the Nikon D3100. I don't know about other Nikon cameras, but I'm guessing it's similar. So on this, I want to jog this dial. My screen went away. So we'll get the screen back. Okay, so if you look down here, where it says our shutter speed, I think that is. I'll scroll that to the left all the way until it says bulb. Okay, so now I can take the remote. Let me get this positioned. And I'll hold this part way down to focus. And then I'll press it down until the light goes out. Okay, and now the shutter is open. So if I want to shut it, I'll press it again. There we go. So that's the bulb mode. So I, don't, I think people take pictures of stars. You can do special effects, things like that with it. So now I'll get to the next mode. Then there's a five second delay. So if you want to use this camera on a tripod to say, take a picture of your family, you'd have to set the timer on here and then hit the button and run and get in your pose. You can still do a timer with this also. So you could have this in your hand, hit the button, wait the five seconds. And in the meantime, you're putting this in your pocket and posing and it's much easier. So I'll get this on. So I have that in the timer mode now. So I'll hold this down part way to focus. I'll press it all the way. We're on a five second timer. And then it should take a picture. There you go. And that's being triggered by this system. I don't know if this is counting down or if this is. This might be telling this to wait five seconds. Next we have three continuous shots. It says shift the mode dial of the transmitter to three continuous shot section while I select the camera to single shot mode. Hack press the shutter button to focus. Then press the shutter button and the camera will continuously take three pictures at an interval of one second. So I'll press it part way down. I'll press it full. That, there it goes, one, two, or maybe that was one. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. So as I said earlier, this is from the perspective of a newbie at photography. So professionals probably already know how to do this. But if you're a newbie like me, and you want to use that three continuous mode, you might have to figure that out on your own. Then it also mentions that you can use this thing here. So I can use this button the same as the remote. So I can hold it part way down and press it like that. And the flash has popped up here. This does get in the way of the flash. So if you are using your flash, this won't work. So I do have this Smotry clamp on tripod thing here that you could put this on. So you could thread this on here and then you can clamp this to your tripod. So I'll put a link below to this in the description also if you're interested in something like that. So we got this to be able to take pictures from a tripod of our family using our DSLR camera. And I think this is gonna meet our needs. I'm not quite sure how to use the bulb function on this. Maybe I'll explore that some other day. And also I don't know how this continuous thing works, but I like the timer, the five second timer and the single shot mode. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments and I'll attempt to answer them if I can. Or if you have suggestions, leave those below too, because I can try other things out with this. On my channel, I sometimes teach people things, but people also teach me, so it's a two-way street. So if you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.